Welcome back. I'm Calvin, a.k.a. Statue Fanatic here with another review. And today we're going to take a look at two figures in one box from First Four Figures. This is of Zelda and Link from the Breath of the Wild video game. Now, these figures aren't new in terms of um, the mold and everything because these were released, I think, in 2017 as just regular uh, figures that you could get from your local shop, store, or whatever. But now they've upgraded the figures and called this a Master Edition. I never got Zelda. I only have Link from before, and I'll compare both of them. So now I've gotten both of them, both of them and they've included it in this unbelievably premium box because uh, these are two pvc statues by the way and uh as you can see this box looks really awesome yeah you know the breath of the wild zelda logo here on the front of it and I, I mean i'm just really impressed here and then on the front here you can see that it has a picture of both of the figures here and then when you turn it around here more logos um here at the bottom it says zelda um and link and you see the first four figures sign here and then under the bottom and it's the box I'm, I'm 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 really sure this weight that i'm feeling is strictly from this box because there's no way that these two pvc statues weigh this much and then under the bottom here you have the nintendo logo and this is a limited edition master edition there were three thousand of these sets made and this is number uh, 172 now I have not opened this yet so I'm gonna open it for the first time with you guys but um, so far the box is really premium but just moving it around on this box this table gets all banged up pretty quickly you kind of hate to get rid of a box like this but for most of the PVC statues that I have I never keep the box because packing those up is pretty simple they're not gonna get broken as easily as uh, of course the resin statues would so there's only so much room you have for boxes. All right, so put that aside. And uh, the premium feel continues. <laughs> Check this out. So I'm gonna take this out here, but you've got two cards here that almost look like credit cards em embossed like you would with a credit card number. And it has an actual serial number it looks like on here. Um, let me take this out if it comes out. Yeah, wow. Look at this presentation, guys. This just looks really freaking amazing. And if the lights are too much of a glare, um, I'm going to also put some pictures so you can see this. But yeah, this, this is pretty premium stuff here. It says authenticity card. To register your officially licensed product and to obtain the full benefit, please go to our website at firstfourfigures.com. Go to the authenticate section where you can enter your product number, which is found on the underside of the base. Uh, and then here's the one for for Link and then of course, of course Zelda. Really, really, um, some really high quality stuff there. Very impressed. So let's get the statues out of the box and see What's up next? So, so here you have this window uh, box here. You can see both of the figures in the box. That's pretty cool. Um, on the back, you can see the figures too as well. Um, a little bit of a history story right there. And then, um, much like the original ones that I got. So now I can see that there are some real big differences between this and the regular statue. And we'll look at that and I hope I have everything I need. But you can see that this is a light up base on both of those. And it looks like there's a number of things on here that actually light up. So let's get this out of the box and take a look at it. All right, so here you have both figures out of the box and I thought I might need batteries, but I don't think I'm gonna need batteries because also included in here is USB-C, uh, not C. These are micro USB cables. So that lets me know that these figures probably need to be charged. The battery in them needs to be charged in order to have them come on. 
but we hopefully there's some type of charge here so we can actually see what they look like. If not, we'll take a, a movie magic moment and pause, charge them and come back and finish up from there. Now, the first thing that I am gonna say is, what is that? Okay, looks good. This is the original one that I got from some time ago. And both of the Link figures look pretty much identical, except this one is considerably more heavier than this guy right here. And it's probably because of the light up features and things in the base. Um, the base is also thicker on this one than it was on the original figure that I got. And so those look like to be the main differences, but as far as the mold pose and everything else like this, this is the exact same mold size, everything um, as the original one. So we'll put that aside. I, I can't compare Zelda because I never got that original one from Zelda uh, of Zelda back a few years ago. So we'll put this one aside and we'll take a look at each of these. Now, you've probably seen something pop up here where you can check out the review from Link and I, I can just tell you now that the review in terms of what I think about that figure, the Link figure is gonna be pretty much the same. First four figures does an amazing job with PV statues. I think they put out the best PVC statues, period. The ones that I have seen, paint application, everything about their statues when it comes to, um, to their PVC pieces look just stellar. And when I reviewed Link, I was just so impressed with how clean the paint lines were on this statue. And I'm seeing the exact same thing on this guy here. The paint lines are extremely clean. Let's put this up here so I can just not have to touch them as much. The uh, paint lines on here, extremely clean. And I mean, everything, the colors, vibrant, um, some texturing, lots of detail in, in both of these pieces. So what we're gonna do here is see if these light up features work right out of the box or if we need to charge them. And there's actually two modes on here too. Let's see here. Yep. So that is true. We're going to take Let's see here, same thing. So we're gonna take a movie moment magic here and uh, get these charged up and then we will be right back. All right, after a bit of movie magic, here we are with Zelda and Link out of the box and I've decided to put them in a white box so you can see the colors better. I wasn't able to get the colors to adjust properly or exposed properly under the lighting because the coloring and the shading on this is an important part, in my opinion, of how well these two statues Look, as I've said, one of the things that I love about First Four Figures is just how well they do these PVC statues and how much attention to detail is actually paid. And as you look at her, you can just see there is just really, really cool paint job. Of course, the sculpt is really great because it looks just like the character in the game. But when you look at just how well she's painted and the colors, and now the colors now are coming up on the screen as as accurate as they can be because now it looks identical to what I'm seeing in real life as opposed to what's being recorded on the screen. So you can just see how vibrant, how cool the colors are on her. And then some of the things that when I point out the paint application on a PVC statue, just look how clean those lines are. And that's not something that you see a lot on statues like this and first four figures. I mean, when they put out their PVC pieces, they look amazing. Check out that, her hair, the shading in her hair looks really fantastic. A shock of slate, all looks really amazing. Oh, that necklace there, look, look at the lines there. And then her eyes, check it out, man. You can see that, that's painted very, very nicely. Beautiful piece. And the same thing with um, with Link. Uh, like I said, this is the same piece that I have already, except for the light up features. But as you can see, the sky, the the ancient arrow, the color scheme, just how well it's painted. We'll take a look at his face too. Look at that. That looks really amazing. This is an absolutely terrific job. So now the standout feature, of course, is the light up features for these two guys. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the light off and then we're going to look at what they look like um, with the lights off and on. The lights here in this white box are extremely bright. So um, it may not show up as well when I first do it. But first of all, look, let's look at the bottom here. You can see where it says Master Edition 172 of 3000. And then Zelda actually says the exact same thing on the hers because they came in a set here. But you can see when I turn the light on, you can actually see it even under this lighting and I'll turn Zelda on as well. Oops, let's do it this way. Turn Zelda on and you can see the light on the base there. Now there's two light settings on here. One pulsates and one doesn't. And so this is on the steady light right here. You can see that and this arrow lights up. But let's turn the lights off so you can actually see what that looks like. Um, I think I have him on the pulsating one, huh? Let's try that. It's quite dark in here. So now you can see just how cool this is. You can see the ancient arrow that lights up on Link. Turn it around there on both sides of it. You can see the light up there. And then also on his shaka slate you can see that it actually lights up on both sides but it's kind of hard to tell you can see underneath there where it lights up underneath here and then of course the light up feature itself now on camera this seems a bit white but in person it's quite bluish the uh, the lights and the same thing with zelda look at her light up feature there the base and then you have the slate that she has that also lights up. Now I'll turn the lights down just a little bit lower to see if the color accuracy and they're not so white, they're not so washed out. Now this is what the light turned down even more Still a bit bright on camera, but you get the gist of it. I think these are really cool light up features. I love both of these figures a lot. And I know video game, video gamers are gonna absolutely love this, especially people who love this franchise. They're gonna absolutely love this. So is it worth it? Absolutely is worth it. They're two beautiful PVC statues. And as I said before, you can actually switch this to a separate setting that allows it to pulsate. And we'll take a look at that. So they should go on and off periodically as uh, time passes there. It's not very sudden. There you go. And it comes on and then Zelda does the same thing. Fantastic. Fantastic, guys. So there you have it, um, Link and Zelda from First Four Figures Master Edition. They come as a set. You can also buy these individually if you just wanted one of the characters. For example, if you bought Link without the light-up feature and you don't want to buy him again, but you can buy Zelda uh, separately at their website, um, as well as some retailers. I do know like this Master Edition with both of them together, I think you can only order it from their website. So that pretty much concludes my review of Zelda and Link Master Edition. Remember to always collect what you like and not the hype. Until next time, my friends, peace.